Don't worry about the gyrating, it's got a point. So I've been using this new toothpaste, and now my dancing has never been whiter. Thank you. Thank you, I got one. Uh, yeah, so, uh, New Year's passed, and it was amazing. I slept through it, and I got a bit of, got a bit of grief from the family, from the lady friends. They were, they were all like, what? What do you mean you slept through New Year's? How could you miss it? How could you miss New Year's? And it was weird because it happened. I didn't miss it. It's still 2020. <laughs> it made it seem like if I wasn't there for it, it wouldn't have happened. And that was honestly a sweet thought. I thought like the president would go to New York and say, ladies and gentlemen, put the ball back up. There's a little boy in Beverly, Massachusetts. He took three edibles and jerked off. He will not be with us for New Year's. We have to turn it back. <laughs> but that didn't happen. So. Uh, that salty, salty taste of the holidays still lingers, and thank God for it because those are the only jokes that I wrote for tonight. So yeah, uh, spent holiday with the family as you do when you don't have any friends. And uh, my grandmother thought it would be real cute to call me Heat Miser. Oh, look at his hair. He dyed his hair. He looks like the Heat Miser. And she thought it was really cute up until I tried to burn her fucking tree. <laughs> <laughs> look, Grandma, it's like the movie. I'm Mr. Green Christmas. I'm Mr. Sun. I'm going to shave my head eventually. <laughs> eventually, eventually, eventually. I'm not much of a Christmas guy. I'm not a big fan of Christmas. I love Halloween. Halloween is my holiday. That's it. Yeah, one person likes Halloween. Thank you. Love you too. But yeah, no. Halloween, there's just so much more fun things to do at Halloween. Like a haunted house. I fucking love haunted houses. Haunted houses are great. Although, you know what? I think they could update. I think haunted houses need to update a bit. They're not as scary as they used to be because I'm scared of more realistic things beyond, like, ghosts and ghouls, you know? I think an ideal haunted house for me would be, you know, I walk in and I'm locked in a room with my sister's boyfriend who I don't like that much. I have to pretend I find everything Mark says is interesting. Next set of hallways, you know, I'm cornered by my dad without pants. He's asking me how to fix his Gmail account. <laughs> Finally, in the last room, it's just a just a pane of glass, and I'm trapped watching my grandmother talk to my black friends. <laughs> I don't think that one should be sitting down. No, Nana, no! The horror! <laughs> You're my life one, too. Oh, <laughs> uh, God, I didn't have that much I wanted to do, so I'll leave you with this. Um, yeah, I'm gonna shave my head. I want to shave like all this hair off. Like, I don't think there's anything as nice as like a good clean shave. Nothing as exciting as a good clean shave, you know? Like, uh, last time I completely went clean shaven, you know, I got a little excited. And I decided to point the razor southbound. <laughs> you know what I found down there? Turns out, there's a penis down there. <laughs> I never noticed before. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Woo!